morning folks um, I'm on my way down to pick up Shaggy my mate uh, you met him in the Newcastle video uh, to do him a favour I'm always doing friends favours as you can tell so yeah that's where we're off to change of plan again uh, there's not much stuff that Jason needs to pick up um, by the way Jason is Shaggy's real name <laughs> just in case you thought I was going crazy uh, yeah so there's not as much stuff as what we thought so I'm taking my big van back home and Shaggy's picking us up in his camper van because we're going to get a few amps, amplifiers and guitars I think or, I don't know speakers and stuff um, because he's a musician well Shaggy's had to stop at home um, he's actually boarding out his loft his missus has spoken uh, so me and our Tristan we're going to go up to Dunsonborough Castle and take you lot with us so enjoy the ride <laughs> Well, we've made it to Crasler, which is the village you park up at um, to walk along to Dunstanborough Castle, so that's what we're doing now but I thought we'd just come down the bay in Crasler and have a look around um, Crasler's famous for kippers, like smoked fish and we just passed the smokehouse there and it smelled lovely but anyhow, here's the, the little bit at Crasler Well, I didn't know it was this far to walk. Um, as you can see, we walk all the way from down there. And there's the castle on the horizon. So we're not even halfway yet. Hope it's worth it. 
and I'm not sure if we're going to get the drone up because there's so many people going down to visit. Um, so yeah, see what happens when we get along there. If it quietens off, I'll get the drone up. If not, then you're just going to have to look at my ugly face. As you can see, I've stopped the time warp there. Um, and I'll catch up with you when we get up there. Truth be told, my hand was starting to hurt, keeping hold of the camera. So yeah, see you in a bit. So yeah, if any of you do come this way, bear in mind, it's a long walk. And it's across um, grazing ground, which is covered in uh, boo. So it's quite uneven as well. I don't think we very suitable for wheelchairs. Um, you could get a wheelchair across here, but it would be hard going. So just bear that in mind if you are coming along here. Just to reiterate what I was saying about the, the wheelchair access. Um, this is the path up to the castle when you get along that walk. So not wheelchair accessible really. No problem, thank you. Well, I'm not sure if you can hear me because of the wind, but um, we've just been stopped at the gate. We're not allowed in. Uh, you've got a free book to get in, and it's £6.50 an adult, which I would have paid, but she says that we're not allowed in because you've got a free book. <laughs> so we're just going to walk around the outside. Anyhow, nice path we're on, if you can hear me over the wind. Uh, castle, hill, I feel like a mountain goat. This is where I was going to fly the drone around these cliffs here and up over the castle because that's the top of the, well that's where the castle is the top of the cliff. Um, but a job's worth of stop has stopped me from doing it uh, and the wind has stopped me from doing it and all these seagulls that's flying around if you can pick up on camera. Uh, I think they were taking interest in the drone. Failure! Wah, wah, wah. I think most of these rocks around here, these stones, I think they were all part of that castle at some point.
So yeah, unfortunately we can't go into Dunson Dunsonborough Castle. Um, as you can see, it's behind me, and as you can see where I'm standing, uh, I'm on the cliff edge. So in today's nanny state, everything's health and safety. So there's the fence. There, oh, oh, the fence stops, and the fence. Oh, right. Okay. Where's health and safety there? And don't get me wrong, I like it because I'm sick of all this nanny state. Um, I was going to use a swear word, but I'll say rubbish. Uh, but yeah quite dangerous here look this is a this is a hill and uh, it's very slippy and grass and then all of a sudden you drop off the edge cool these rocks are lovely with all this lightning uh, awesome, I'll have you on it. And we've got to walk all the way along there. Don't know if you can see the village of Prasta. But yeah, that's where we're going. I don't know if you can hear because of the wind. I know I keep saying that, but it, it does keep picking up the wind. Uh, as you can see, the castle is behind us and we're walking away from it. Gutted. I really thought I was going to have a good video walking around the castle and what have you, but the jobs have stopped us. Never mind. On a positive note, we're almost halfway to here. Well, we're back in Krasna village, uh, having to walk back along towards the car uh, and the whole town just smells of the, the kippers, the smoked fish in the smokehouse. It smells absolutely gorgeous. And here's the smokehouse. And look at all the black tar of the smoke coming down the walls. Well, I was going to get a crab sandwich because um, Crasta is famous for us to cross the crabs and they do cross the crab sandwiches. But I'm not paying £8.95 for a sandwich. Rip them to a size out. Um, same as a cross the kippers. Get a kipper anywhere else. You're looking about three, four quid. Here, £7.95. Just because it's a famous little village. Um, quite busy, so they're deciding to rip the tourists off, and I don't like that. So I won't. I won't support that. Sorry. Right, here's a little tip for you, which I've just found out. Now I was saying about them ripping off the tourists, and I'm not going to be a part of it. Over here, you can see that little thing there. Cross the kipper on a bun, four quid. Off you go into the village, eight pound. So yeah, walk back to the car park, go to that little hut there, and get your crasser kipper in a bun there for half the price it is in the village. So yeah, like I say, they rip you off in these little tourist villages. Um, 
and expect you to pay double the price of what you would get elsewhere. So like I say, you want to get yourself a crusted crab sandwich, world famous crusted crab sandwich, go to the little hut that's in the car park where you park to walk down to Craster and get it at half price. There's a terry little tip for you. Well, we got back home. Um, bit of a failure not being able to get into the castle. So I'll have to try that on another day. Uh, see where we'll go tomorrow. Me and Emma's off to go and get some food. So that being said, I will see you all tomorrow. And now, now it's, it's time, time to, to do, do your job. job.